fairly new to social media. That's a lie. So I'm sorry to start off like that. I've been on Facebook since like the beginning of time, 2007, but I haven't really gotten into the rest of the mishmash world of social media until quite recently. Getting on Twitter and actually using that, getting on Instagram, getting on YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm like dabbling with Tumblr, still don't really understand it. So here's the thing, when the internet came about, and when it became something that everyone was kind of using, it was an alternate reality. It was like a new dimension to real life that was the virtual life, and we kept them quite separate. Now social media has changed this completely, because even though you can create an account anonymously, kind of, can't really do that anymore because all the different medias are connected to each other. You know, you can post something from one place to another and you log in through that website to another website. It's all connected. And that is at the same time connected to our real life. So since we are being ourselves online and not hiding behind a persona, it becomes even more important that we can express ourselves and socialize in a similar fashion as we do offline. It's like learning a new language, and when you learn a new language, you notice stuff that's missing, that's not quite right, that annoys you. I have spotted a few things I would like to change. Like the like button. Oh my god, there are too many uses and too many functions for the like button. What does the like even mean at this point? You can like it because you like what they said, you can like it out of empathy, you can like it out of sympathy, you can like it just to show them that you've seen it. And then there's this whole other part where it's in the comments. When you're having a conversation with someone and you're liking what they wrote to you and then you reply and then they like it back and then there's this final like on the final comment and that like doesn't mean I like what you said, it means I'm done talking to you now. It means, okay, yes. The like button has gone out of control. Who needs it anymore? Who uses it? What does it mean? YouTube might be the exception because it's, it's a rating system, right? Instead of the stars. You've got the heart on Tumblr. I don't understand Tumblr. <laughs> what? Who knows if I like it? Do they know it? Is heart a like? What's, re what's the re- the reblog? That's putting it on my blog, right? I don't get it. Now we come to the one thing I absolutely need more than anything. Being someone who is sarcastic combined with being someone who is terrified of being misunderstood, it creates the winky smiley monster. You know what I mean. I am the person who has to end every flippin' thing I write with a little cheeky wink or the, like, the tongue with a wink, whoever does that, I'm just so scared that people are not gonna catch the sarcasm and they're gonna think that I'm serious, they're gonna get offended, there's gonna be hell. The least cool people do this, because people who are like really confident, they'll just assume that people understand that they're joking and they won't use it. As soon as you throw that winky smile in there, you look dumb and you look insecure, which is exactly what I am. <laughs> We need to use the irony punctuation, the sarcasm mark. It's a real thing. Irony punctuation is any proposed form of notation used to denote irony or sarcasm in text. Written English lacks a standard way to mark irony, and several forms of punctuation have been proposed. Among the oldest and most frequently attested are the percontation point proposed by the first guy in the 1580s and the irony mark used by the second guy and the third guy during the 19th century. Both marks take the form of a reversed question mark. Brilliant, isn't it? Now, if I were to put it now when no one's really using it, it wouldn't make any sense and it would just be like, whoops, uh, autocorrect. If it could be a thing. Brilliant! And along those lines, there is another thing I am really, really missing. I need a button because I am a pun enthusiast. I need to be able to tell someone that I see what they did and I enjoyed it. And I need someone to tell me the same thing when I do funny things. Because sometimes people like your comment and you're like, did they really get it? But you can't ask. I want to call this button Pundestood. <laughs> Writing I see what you did there is just, it just gets a bit old. It's almost like explaining a joke and there's nothing worse than explaining a joke. I 
do that sometimes, so I know. It works on Facebook. It really doesn't work anywhere else. Like on Twitter, favoriting, retweeting, it just, nothing means that. I need it on Twitter more than anywhere, to be honest. Because on Facebook, we can solve that, it's fine. And I mean, Instagram, punny pictures, yeah, I suppose. We could have it on Instagram, but we definitely need it on Twitter. We definitely need it on Twitter. I'm not really sure what the symbol's gonna be. Maybe a P? What, why would that be a P? I should have thought this through. It could just be a square. It could just be a red circle or green circle or an orange circle. I don't know. But I need it. If you have any ideas or suggestions about things that you want to add to the internet lingo to make sure that we can be more clear in our communication, to maybe stop a few stupid arguments online because there's quite a few of those and maybe just to make sure that we communicate better with each other because yay communication, love that, love that stuff, put it in the comment below, let me know. And if you like this video, hit like because really sold that before, well done. And more than anything, if you have an idea about what the understood button should look like, let me know if you, if you want to make a drawing of it, but I don't know if you can show that to me. But if you want to describe it, put that in a comment. Let me know your ideas on the understood button, because I feel like this should be a thing. And subscribe if you feel like subscribing, but you know how it works. You know this place better than me, I'm sure. Bye-bye. I'm a bit old, I know. <laughs>